Rahman Rahim. Today our topic is structure of atom. How can we make a structure of atom, electron and proton and neutron in the nucleus of the atom? For example, this is sodium atom. The number above which is 11 is the atomic number of sodium. Atomic number is the number of proton. So this is atomic number and atomic number is the number of proton it means sodium has 11 proton in the nucleus and the below which is 23 is known as atomic mass and atomic mass is the number of protons plus neutrons in the atom nucleus so atomic number is only proton now we will make first we will make a the nucleus for sodium atom. So the sodium atom has 11 proton in the nucleus. If we will add 12 neutron to 11, the atomic mass will be 23. It means sodium atom has 12 neutron. So this is the distribution of proton and neutron in the nucleus. Now you will make the shell. So according to the formula, this is a first shell, 2n square, n will be the shell, for example, n is a first shell, second shell, third shell, fourth shell, etc. So if we will put a first, if we will put 1 in the place of n, then will be first shell, for example, 1 square, so 2, if we will take the square of 1, then will be 1, 2. So first shell contain only two electron and the second shell contain two into two square. So two into two to the four, two to the eight. So second shell contain eight electron and third shell two cross. Three three is a nine, nine to the eighteen electron and fourth shell contain thirty two electrons and fifth shell contain fifty electrons. So the sodium has two electron in first shell. As we know that each atom has same number of proton and electron. For example, sodium has 11 proton, which is atomic number. So the 11, so the sodium has 11 electron. First shell contain two electrons. Each atom has same number of proton and electrons. It means sodium has 11 electron, also has 11 proton. So first shell contain two electron according to formula, and second shell contain eight electron. 2, 4, 6, 8. Now only, now this time will be the third shell which contain 18 electron. But uh, we have only one electron remains. Now sodium has 11 electron. The one the electron will be in the last shell of uh, sodium. So this is the complete structure of sodium atom. It means each, each, each sodium atom has only one electron in its outermost shell and this electron also represents that sodium is present in first group. Lost shell electron can represent the group number of the atom. It means sodium is in first group because sodium has only one electron. Sodium potassium also has one electron and rubidium, cesium, tantalum also has one electron. Lithium also has one electron because these atoms are present in the first group. Now we will make the structure of calcium atom so calcium atomic number is 20, so calcium has 20 proton and calcium has 20 neutron because if you will add 20 to 20 now the number will be 40, so the 40 will be the atomic mass of calcium. Now we will distribute the electron in first shell, so according to the formula first shell contain only 2 electrons and second shell contain 8 electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now the third shell begins. Third shell contains 18 electron, but uh, we have only 10 electron. As we know that 8 electron uh, has been distributed. It, it, uh, second shell contains 8 electron and first shell contains 2 electron. The total becomes 10 electrons. So only 10 electron remains. We don't have 18 electron. Now this time we have only 10 electron. Now we should make or you should make uh, a shell of uh, 8 electrons not 18 electron because we don't have 18 electron this time we have only 10 electron now you will distribute uh, uh, 10 electron in third shell so third shell contain 8 electron 2 4 6 
8 so only two electron remains that will be in the lost shell of calcium so calcium has uh, two electrons in the lost shell or outermost shell why because calcium belongs to second group therefore calcium has two electron the number of electron in lost shell represents the represents the atom group number so calcium is in second group because calcium has two electron in its outermost shell similarly if you will make the aluminium of third group or carbon of fourth group or nitrogen of fifth group or chlorine of seventh group or oxygen of sixth group so each atom will have the electrons according to its group what will be its group number that will be the electrons in its outermost shell similarly chlorine has seven electron in its outermost shell carbon has four electron nitrogen has five electron and aluminium or boron has three electron in its outermost shell but neon helium argon these atoms have complete and outermost shell and these atoms possess eight electrons or helium has two electrons in its outermost shell so this is the structure of atom